Hi everyone and welcome back for a new episode on Mongo queries. Right off the bat, I want to tell you that filtering is probably the most important and most frequent action that you'll do in Mongo. Now, if you're coming from a relational database background, then the filtering syntax might seem a little bit odd at first. But rest assured, with a little bit of practice, you'll get used to them and you'll see that they're very powerful, flexible and easy to learn. Let's see some filtering in action. As usual, I'll use the standard Mongo shell. So I'll type in Mongo to connect to my Mongo database. Then I'll need to change the database context to customer DB, which is the database on which we are operating against. Okay. And now I want to print all the documents just so uh, we see what we have there. So DB customers is the name of the collection, find, and then empty filter. Okay, so right now in our customer database, we have a collection called customers and inside it, we have four documents. Okay, the most basic filter in Mongo is the equality filter. So if I want to find, for example, um, a customer whose name is Anna, then I can say DB customers find and instead of passing in an empty filter function, we can say name, which is the property equals and we use a column for that and then the value by which we want to filter okay so i've modified the find command and by passing in this search function the mongo database will return all the documents where name equals anna and for the equality operator we use the colon sign i'll press enter and now i get back a single document where the name property equals to Anna. Of course, we can do this for other properties. For example, let's say that I want to find all the customers that are frequent buyers. So I can say the name of the property is frequent buyer colon and then true. And this query will now return all the customers where the is frequent buyer property is set to true. So we have back two results. And last but not least, we can also find documents by their ID. And this is quite common and you lose it a lot. So it's almost the same as the other ones. Customers, find. Now, as you can see here, the object ID is not a simple property. And in order to filter by ID, we need to type in the name of the property, which is underline ID, colon. And we actually need to select to pass in the whole object. So all this object here. So I can say copy. I'll paste it in here. I'll close my filter and I'll hit enter. And now I have a document where the ID is equal to the one that I passed in. So it's a little tricky to find by ID, but you need to remember that for simple properties, you just, you know, use the value, but for complex objects like the object ID, you need to pass in uh, the whole object. Filtering by ID is nice, but there are other operators out there. What if I want to find all the customers that have an age less than 30? Now for that, we can type in customers, find, and we need to pass in the property name, which is age. And now in order to use other operators, we need a syntax like this. So dollar sign, the name of the operator, in my case, less than, so LT stands for less than, colon, and we need to pass it the uh, filter value. So 30 years old. We close this operator, we close the filter and we hit enter. And now I get all the customers that have an age less than 30. If I want to find all the customers that have, a, that have an age greater than 30, well, it's almost the same. Customers, find, age. And now we need to build our operator. We can say dollar sign greater than GT and we pass in the filter value. We close, the we close the filter 
uh, we, we close the operator we close the filter hit enter and now we have the customers where the age is greater than 30. what if we want to find all the persons where their name contains the letter a and we have a filter for that as well customers find the property name and now we need to put in a pattern here so slash the letter a slash we close the filter okay and we hit enter and now we get all the persons that have letter a in their name so by using slash substring slash we basically tell mongodb to search for that pattern in the name property um, what if you want to find the names of um, our customer or what if you want to find the customers that have a name which starts with j for example well we have db customers find name and we need to use a different pattern so slash and for starts with we have this operator and i can say j or jo for example okay we close this we close the pattern we close our filter and we hit enter so the first pattern checked in all the string the second pattern just checks the name property and returns the properties that start with jo now that we know about operators let's combine some filters together let's say that i want to extract all the customers who are young below 25 years old and who are also frequent buyers so we need to combine these two filters well in mongodb this is quite simple so we have db customers find and now we need to write our two filters the first filter is for age so age less than 30 and now by using the comma sign we can actually chain the filters together in an end relationship so my second filter is is frequent buyer true okay i'll close my query hit enter and now i get two customers they are both young and they are both frequent buyers so we can actually have multiple filters and by using the comma sign we create an end relationship between them and to conclude this episode let's also check out the sorting capabilities of mongo um, i want to extract all the frequent buyers but i want to display them by age in ascending order so we have customers find it's a simple filter it's frequent buyer true and now in order to sort them we need to append the sort function and the sort function needs to have we need to pass in the property by which to want by which you want to make the sort so age and then we use colon and now we need to specify the sort direction ascending or descending if you use one it will be ascending if you use minus one it will be descending in my case i want them sorted in ascending order so i'll use one i'll close my query and now i have all the frequent buyers and as you, as you can see they are sorted by age okay that's it for today's episode i hope that you found filters to be not that difficult in the next episode we'll look at updating existing records until then have a great day write amazing code and i'll see you next time goodbye